Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you my real skin. <gasps> the real skin. Yes, I mean, I don't wear a ton of makeup, but I have nothing on my face right now. I am fresh out of the shower. Literally just hopped out 30 seconds ago, so I'm a little warm. But yeah, I want to show you guys my skin and my skincare routine right now and just show you kind of close-ups of my face and then what products I'm using how they apply on the skin, how they look, everything like that. So today is just going to be all about real skin, my real skincare routine, the products that I'm using right now. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, then just keep watching. Well, hello there. Okay, so I wanna zoom you guys way, way in so you can get an idea of what my skin is like because even though, you know, I'm a skincare influencer, real skin is just not what it looks like on social media. So I wanted to make this video to just show you guys the real deal. So right now, like I always have a lot of redness and you know, while we're sitting here, I just have to quickly spritz my face because it's drying out like the desert. Okay. Because I haven't put anything on yet. I just came out of the shower because I want to show you guys all the products. Okay, anyways, let's just go over my skin. So basically, I am pretty fair and I have a lot of redness. You can see I have redness here, I got redness here, I got redness here. I also have a very dark under eyes and I always have bags under my eyes. That is my alarm. And I tend to, yeah, I tend to be really red here and here and here. And then if I get like hot or sweaty, <laughs> around my mouth is just like pure white and then everywhere else is red. So I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but that's my skin. Um, I also am really prone to kind of just like random little spots around my mouth area. And if I get a bump, I will pick it because I'm a human being and it's so hard not to. So right now you'll see I have a little situation down there because it was just a little bump, wasn't even gonna be anything and then I decided to just excavate my face and now I have this poor little red guy that's gonna take a long time to heal so what can I say we're all humans okay so now that you know what my skin texture is like and really you know my skin texture is pretty smooth I can get pretty textured skin very easily if I <laughs> sue me if I don't wash my face and honestly when you have a baby Sometimes you just need to go to bed when you need to go to bed and sometimes skincare is not the priority. So if I don't wash my face, I get texture. Oh my gosh, what a concept. Okay, so let's get on into kind of my... So these are products that I use and have been using for a long time. And I'm always trying new skincare products. And so this is not like a co an inclusive list of everything that I use all the time. But these are the products that don't go on rotation, that really just stay there and are part of my routine, like, all the time. Okay, so let's start off with the step one, the step one of my skincare routine, which is cleansing. And I'm gonna talk about first my morning skincare, which, cause I wanna get it on my face ASAP, and then I'll talk about my evening skincare after that. So these two cleansers are the ones that I basically use and mostly I use this one in the morning. So this is the Skin Balancing Oily Skin Clay Cleanser with 2% polyhydroxy acids and kaolin clay. This one is really cool. It actually is green in texture. I'm not going to apply it because I just washed my face. Um, but I usually just use this one in the shower in the morning and it's really nice. It doesn't dry me out or anything, um, but it definitely makes your skin feel very kind of clarified and clean. So Neutrogena has three uh, skin balancing cleansers. And then um, I'll talk about this one when I talk about nighttime routine, because I use this one more so at night. So that's the cleansers. And honestly, yes, I just love these Neutrogena cleansers. They are really, really pleasant to use. So that's what I'm using right now and have been using basically since they've launched. So this is my morning cleanser. Okay, finally, I can start putting some stuff on my face. Okay, so step one in my routine is always a good spritz. 
we love a spritz moment. I love, like, essences and toners are so not necessary in your routine, so if you're looking for a basic routine, you don't have to add these. And I don't always use these, but, God, I just love a good spritz. So I love the Coast RX Centella Water Alcohol-Free Toner. This one is really nice, and the spray on it, I was trying... It's like a very wide spray. It's like, oh, I love it. So I love that one. And then I really love this one, especially for throughout the day as well. This one I'm always like reapplying and using throughout the day. This is the West Barn Co. Prep Mist Peppermint Facial Spray. Mmm. Honestly, it's just so nice. It smells so good. It makes your skin feel fresh. Okay, so that's my morning spritzes and essences. Sorry, there's like mega traffic outside. What what do I do next? What do I do next? Next, I always use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So this one, you guys, is really lovely and it has these little beads in it, which you might think is hyaluronic acid, but it's not. It's actually like a an algae. So I take a good dropper amount of that. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go two droppers of that because we deserve it and then I apply that to my damp skin it's good to apply hyaluronic acid to damp skin and moisturizer for that matter okay so that is my like hydration situation in the morning and I put that all over the neck and everything lovely lovely okay then next so Nori is a beautiful skincare company it is extremely expensive um, so this is definitely not necessary they actually did send me this I probably wouldn't purchase it with my own money because it's it's just a little pricey and I don't have the budget for that right now um, but I do love this product so it's actually a custom serum booster I think I wanted like good like antioxidant and texture whatever but their whole thing is they make everything super fresh really small batch um, the packaging is lovely and honestly it does make my skin feel just incredible so I do love this product would I purchase it with my own money maybe if I made more money <laughs> I don't know at this point in my life no and the only reason I will apply this is if I want to apply this. So this is the Tan Lux. Oh, come on, camera. Work with me. Okay, this is the Tan Lux, the face illuminating self tan drops. Because I've tried using this with like a water-based serum. It just does not apply super evenly. So I mix it with this one to get more of an even application because I find it can just leave little patchy areas if I don't um, mix it with more you'll see this is like a cream serum so this one as you can see this is the nori one this is like a cream serum situation and then I will just add you know like three drops of this one two three and mixy 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 all together and then apply it and really focus it like okay where where should I look where should I look sunny? You know? Where do I want that tan? Because we do not want to get tan IRL. That's what sunscreen's for. We do not want to get that tan. But sometimes you want to look nice and bronze in the summer. So I think self-tanning products are actually fabulous. Okay. So I focus it where I want it first and then I just put it all over the place. That is a scientific method, okay? <laughs> what am I saying? I'm in such a mood. Oh my god. Okay. So that is everywhere and it's like settled it's not slippery there's nothing funky going on but what's next what's next see now I'm all confused you guys you guys have confused me it's too early for this now it's time for vitamin C no it's not see I was right before okay <laughs> oh, gosh. oh what am I doing um, next is my under my beautiful under eye situation which always needs a little TLC in the morning. So I love, 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 love the Hydractive Marcel Anti-Fatigue Eye Contour Gel. It's got the metal tip applicator, which honestly, it's just a nice feeling. So you do some product like that, and then you just kind of use that cold tip applicator and make yourself feel nice. You know, so this is like a really hydrating cream which my under eyes need all the help they can get by the way I do not have any lights on 
this is just window light and it's super great today so but I feel like beauty lights can make people's skin look a bit better than it is IRL okay and then I just well you know make sure that's like nice and golden in there yes and I put on like honestly a lot because my skin is dry so if I put on too much product it just disappears anyways it doesn't matter okay next next we got the situation of la vitamin c so i did two videos on vitamin c go check them out they will be on my youtube page um and i really use these interchangeably and alternatively but i don't use both at once so sometimes i'm feeling the serum vitamin c option from cerave sometimes i'm feeling the cream option what do i feel like today i'm gonna go serum just because i want to show you the other cream that i use as well because if i use the vitamin c from Neutrogena sometimes I won't apply so I'm just using like you know like a milliliter maybe of that and I just focus it on my face I do not put it around my eyes generally sometimes I do I feel like this seems like a lot of steps but it's like you know sometimes you guys I don't even wash my face in the morning and I just spray on sunscreen and leave the house so this is like the most extreme example of what I do so that was my vitamin C, and I do always like a good vitamin C step. Next is moisturizer. When I don't always wear a moisturizer, I don't. Sometimes I just wear sunscreen because, yes, that's why. Because no reason. Okay, so hear me out, you guys. I want to talk about this product because it is just probably my favorite gel moisturizer ever. Um, very similar to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost extra dry formula that is fragrance free this is the marcel hydractive 24 day and night moisturizing gel cream guys the texture on this like if you love a good gel cream but you need it to be extremely hydrating my god you will love this it's fragrance free dermatologist tested marcel is probably one of my favorite skincare brands they've been around forever i feel like no one really talks about them maybe it's because they're canadian who knows but this product is just like the whole hydractive line like if you are you know 25 and younger that's all you should be using on your face it's like so good oh my gosh so that is just beautiful gel cream beautiful gel cream I love it so much my goodness so that just goes in really nice I put that all over even though I, put, I just put eye cream on I go over it with that because it's so light okay so now that I've done like the most of the skincare let's just zoom back in oh by the way so you can see that already my face looks better it looks better than it did i think before it was very dry before because i didn't moisturize but now we got that nice dew glow and that's just skincare you guys the power of skincare is so real okay now last step really and um well last step for the morning that i'm just going to cover a few things for evening is sunscreen now this is the Ultra Sheer Face Mist Sunscreen by Neutrogena SPF 50. And I, this is like the only sunscreen I've used this summer because it's just so darn easy to apply and it's so darn easy to reapply. And you don't want to spray it on your face directly, you want to go into your hand. I do like 10 spritzes, apply it, do 10 spritzes and reapply it. Um, so that's kind of how I handle the, the sunscreen application. Now I'm actually just going to wait a couple of minutes before I do that because my face is still drying down from all the all of the stuff that I just put on it and like I said before you guys this is like this is the most for me like this is the most 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 sometimes I just literally will spray the peppermint thing on my face and spray the sunscreen thing on my face and I'm out the door or sometimes I will do this whole shebang or sometimes I won't use this or that or whatever like this is the most so this is not a necessary skincare routine that I'm showing you this is like me at my most luxurious moments with the most time available this is what i do now we're going to touch on evening skincare okay so now, again this is the most 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 that i am ever going to do um and so if i'm wearing sunscreen makeup all that jazz i'd love to do a double cleanse and there's lots of different options for the first part of that but this is the one that just i reach for the most this is the marcel cleansing cream it is like a cream like it feels like you're just putting on a heavy moisturizer but it does break down all the dirt and makeup and then at night, if I'm doing the double cleanse situation, I will go in with the Neutrogena Skin Balancing Normal and Combo Skin that has 2% PHAs and aloe. 
this is just a really nice gel cleanser that's super gentle on my skin. So this is kind of my double cleanse moment right here, especially if I'm wearing makeup. Now, if I'm using, if this is a retinol night, like we're doing retinol, taking care of our skin, we're doing retinol, cool. Then, just after washing my face, I do let it dry down, which, oh my gosh, see me. Yes, I let it dry down completely, and then I apply the raw retinol. And then I let that dry down completely, and then... I will go in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Night Pressed Serum. So this is actually like a pressed serum. It's very interesting. It feels like thick and heavy, but it's not. Oh my gosh. You know what? This one does have fragrance. So if you don't like fragrance, you won't like this. But I think it's the bomb.com. So that's, that's all I will do. If I'm doing retinol, I do this. Let it dry down. Topped with the Night Pressed Serum. Then... If I'm not doing retinol, sometimes I will do a lactic acid by The Ordinary, which I apply on a cotton pad and just kind of douse my skin in it. And then I will follow up with a, a moisturizer. So mostly this one, honestly, um, or the Marcel Hydro Boost one. And then I just want to talk about like spot treatments. Like for example, if I feel like, oh, I'm getting a lot of texture because I didn't wash my face for two days in a row, then after washing my face, I will do the succinic acid treatment by the Inky List, but I only just really spot treatment, like spot treat it. I would not use this all over my face. This is really a spot treatment moment. Um, and it does really help clear up redness and just, it just makes me feel better, honestly. That's the, that's the fact of the matter. And that's what skincare is all about is making us feel good, you know. If you enjoy a product, whether it's working or not, does it matter if you enjoy it? That's my opinion. Okay, just some other couple of things I want to mention. Sometimes I do like to... <laughs> sometimes I like to use this Centella Green Level Calming Toner. Um, mostly in the evening, sometimes in the morning. And sometimes I don't wash my face in the morning and I will just go over with like a cotton pad and a toner like this. It just depends on life itself and how I'm feeling. But this one is really, really nice. It has Centella Asiatica at 10%. It also has Panthenol and you know some other great ingredients that are really good for your skin and this one does really make my skin texture feel really nice and just hydrated without like the moisturizer feeling like this one is really really nice so 10 out of 10 would recommend and then another option for sunscreen that i just want to mention because sometimes well sometimes i don't use the spray one and sometimes i just need a little little bit of protection yeah like this one is when i'm like okay i'm going outside and i'm gonna be exposed to the sun if I'm having an indoor day like if it's raining or whatever you know good to still apply SPF although it's not my favorite thing but I still do it so then I will use the Neutrogena Bright Boost Moisturizer that has SPF 30. So I don't know you guys I hope that kind of helped and just showed you how you know I'm a skincare person I'm a skincare influencer but my routine is not set in stone and I don't use all these products all the time this is like my most extra of mornings my most extra of evenings sometimes I skip washing my face and then I get texture and then I have to deal with it like I'm a human being too this is my skin it's not perfect but man I'm telling you, skincare does a lot though like I feel like it looks a lot better than even it did at the beginning of this video we look hydrated we look smooth we look happy. I don't know. Okay. So that is my little, well, large skincare routine, I guess you could say. But yeah, I am always trying out new products. So, you know, lots of this is interchangeable. But these are definitely the ones that I find that have just stayed on my bathroom counter and refused to be actually put in a proper place because I'm just using them all the time. So I wanted to share that with you guys because you guys have been asking me a lot about my skincare routine. And this is pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too much. I hope it wasn't too long. I just kind of rambled a lot, but yeah, I hope you guys have an excellent day and I will see you in my next video.